hey what's up guys today in this video we are going to extend our electron desktop application and we will see how we can use axios to fetch some information from an api and also create a form which will allow us to save a new item to the api to get started i have this screen inside work which is almost like you know an adding of a to do for myself to work on a very basic thing because i wanted to get the basics right so this three task is coming from an api and if i try to add a new one and if i click on add it does add it to the list now how we are doing is something we will see in this video so let's get started let us first understand what we have done on the screen so i'll go inside my front end application source pages so this is my work tsx file it's a work component a react functional component i have my ipc renderer here from the window object then i have tasks and the function set task coming from the use state hook i have one more called loading and set loading this is just for some basic ui purpose so that i'm able to show the user that things are getting loaded then i have a setup method where first i am setting the set loading state to true because i'm going to make an api call then what i do over here is use axios to make a get request i'll get this url from here which is basically localhost 8000 slash api slash task it's a get request i get the response and what i do is i concat the tasks which i get from the api and once that concatenation is done i set the loading to false because now my data is ready to be rendered now i have a use effect as well and this use effect is calling the setup function so that you know, my tasks are getting pre-populated rather populated you know, based on the response from the api and this is ipc render dot on i'm going to talk about this in a bit although i have a detailed video on ipc render and how we can use it for form submit and that's a video link that you can find on the eye icon so that you can quickly go over it and this is my rendering so as you can see i have a loading state everything is happening when the loading is not false and if it is true then i have this basic thing i'll create a component out of it so that later on i can add some styling and make it a little more interesting but right now i'm just iterating through the tasks and and inside a ulli and showing them whatever is here i have a interface for that as well <coughs> called itask and this is where i have declared the shape of that object and that is what is being executed here okay now after that i have the form but before we jump into the form i'll just quickly you know tell you what this is doing so basically my form is taking the input from the user in terms of the title of the task it is making a post call as well the form is, resp is responsible for making the post call but once this is done and the form gets a response back right the what the form is doing is it is raising an event okay because that is the renderer where the event is happening the renderer sends an event saying okay on this particular screen task got added and then the main process reads it so if you see over here i have submit to do form which is inside the form and we will look at that but then when that event is triggered i make my you know to do service handle to do form submit service call which is responsible for saving the task right and then once that is resolved and i have the new task i send that from the main process 
back to the renderer and the renderer is able to understand that task got added and it also has the data that is the task which just got added right so yeah basically in that case what i'm doing is i'm calling the setup function again here we have a small outside limitation what is happening is this renderer because it is getting instantiated during the initial component mount it is always referring to the initial state of the task so what happens is if i just try to add the recent task which got added it takes the state as an empty object or an empty array and it shows me only the recent one and hence i'm making an api call it's a limitation i'm trying to find a solution to it the state which is getting registered when the event listener is getting registered is an empty array it somehow only adds the recent one and the existing thing goes away okay but yeah at least for now i'm able to show the entire task i think for this particular case it will work because the list is small otherwise one more easy fix here will be that you open the form in maybe a new page or in a pop-up and then on the pop-ups submit right on the form submit you reload or basically make one more ajax call to get the recent list all right so we saw the listing page that listing page code is responsible for getting this list and also when the form is submitted and the form gets the response back it adds the new item here as well now let's look at the form what is happening however you know this again is a very straightforward form oops what just happened no 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 all right <clears throat> i think it's some you know, that react git uh, sorry the git lens thing but okay so again one more functional component over here it's a form so i have you know the validation schema and things like that so it's a you know, functional component i have the ipc render over here i have declared the initial values my form submit function is here then the form tag starts with the formic then the form again these are things that i have you know, explained in details in quite a few videos so you can basically refer to them i have multiple videos on formic um, so i'm not going to go into the details of that basically it's a form you know it's a library uh, which allows you to you know work with forms in a very elegant way so we have the form tag from formic and then this is our field okay and then the button and obviously i have said that when the form submit happens this is the function which is going to handle it now this function if you see it is not making an ajax call i am not trying to make any ajax call which is a post request from the render process what i'm doing is i'm sending the data to the main process and so once this event is fired my main.js is listening to that particular event submit to do form submit to do form right and then it makes the api call and does anything else that is part of the side effect of that function so yeah that's pretty straightforward and yes obviously after the form submit has happened i just reset the form so and that's the basic working of this particular component and in a nutshell these two components make this particular page where i can as i showed you right add a new task to show on the list so yeah that's about it guys that's how i'm able to make api calls and both get request and post request and manage the data on this application so yeah let me know what you think about it if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel